Alright, so I'm back again with another tutorial, and here we're going to show you how to do um, this effect right here. Let me uh, get it for you. Um, we're going to show you how to do this effect right here. So we have my friend here, um, just shot him in a normal uh, hallway. And we sort of created this uh, camera shake effect, turning them green, having the red eyes and stuff, um, with a little bit of brightness on his hair. As you can see, it's a little tinted green there. And so I'm just going to show you how to do that in After Effects. So we're going to open up After Effects. And so, um, once After Effects loads up, I'm going to, uh, this loads up, we're going to go, a uh, new composition, and we'll just do, um, let's just call this comp one, it's fine where it's at, uh, just do full resolution, uh, I'm going to set it to whatever my, um, footage is at and so it's at HDV DVC Pro HD um, 1080 anamorphic and so I'm gonna import my footage um, which is an HD it's just this here um, I'm gonna pull this into the uh, composition so you see he's here and um, if we scrub through this it's sort of um, he's just supposed to look angry has a little bit of camera shake not that much though um, and has a few things there so first I'm gonna show you how to um, uh, do this thing in CS5 with the roto brush which is a great tool instead of drawing a mask and then animating every single um, every single frame so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open up one of my previous projects. Uh, here we go. All right. So, um, basically, we can drag our footage into a new composition. And so we have Brandon here. He's just sitting there. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate him, and I'll tell you why in, in a few minutes. But we're gonna duplicate him, and then what we want to do is we want to double click on this footage. And then we're gonna zoom out. And then we're going to take this tool up here. If you're in CS5, it's the Roto Brush. Um, you can hit Alt W to select it, and you'll see this little green uh, circle with the plus sign in it. Um, and so, this is really great for CS5 users, especially because now, um, if you're in CS4 or, or later, you have to um, draw a mask with the pen tool around them and animate it every frame. But now, with the Roto Brush, you can just paint around him like in Photoshop just paint around him like this uh, like so just get these edges of the hair up here uh, up there and then we just select the rest of them here and that's a pretty good roto brush and then we select this bar down here so it, the roto brush goes all through all the way throughout the um, uh, throughout the effect and then we let that render and so after it's done rendering that if we go back into oh we still need to um, go here and what you do is you click alt and you see now it turns red and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag around to show what you don't want the application to um, include in the roto brush so I'm just gonna drag here and just do that and it'll load it and then it's gonna render it throughout the whole thing so you just go like that and then once that is done we can um, go back to our composition um, go to our selection tool so if you shut off this bottom layer you'll see that now it's gone except for the edges around um, Brandon and so if we turn this on um, you can see that as we move it 
um, both of the layers follow, but we still have Brandon behind it. And I'll tell you why we duplicate it in a second. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to our effects and presets, and we're going to go and type change, and then change the color will come up. So we're just going to take this, and then we're going to drop it onto them like that. And so then we're going to take the uh, pen dropper tool, or the uh, eyedropper tool, we're going to select right on his nose, somewhere in the middle of his face, um, so we get the darker thing, the darker color, and so it'll accept more of his face. So then I'm going to change him to a greenish color. Actually, you know what, let's do a bluish color so he can do sort of that um, Ghost Rider effect. And so we have this bluish color, and then we can turn the hue up so it covers all of his skin like that and so as you originally saw we did it green but this one we're going to do blue so it's more of a, a ghost rider effect and then we can just up the hue a little more and then basically what we do is after that you see how it's kind of light but not really all the way done so what we're going to do is we're going to add a curves effect which is in color corrections we just add that onto them then we're going to add somewhat of a contrast so we see how he is a little darker here right there and you can see this here and then we have our composition our pre-comp of him And so we have this layer here. And then what we can do here is just drag the MTS file under here like this. And then that is our new composition. Um, and then what we can do is what we want to do is we want to um, we want to take this and we want to track his eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to select both of the layers this time. And then we want to do layer precompose precomp three move all to new attribute thingy and then um, so this is our precomposition of them and so what we want to do is we want to track this eye here so we're gonna do layer new null object because this is what we're gonna uh, track the data to so we can just shut that off for now and then what we want to do is we want to go to motion source on the tracker and go to precomp 3 which is where um, we're gonna be at and so um, switch to our selection tool and then what we want to do is we want to do um, we want to do track motion right click on the footage and click track motion and you'll see we'll get one track point here but um, we want to do rotation as well so we'll go transform position rotation and then we want to do edit target and then we want to move it to null 3 click OK so here we're gonna um, we're gonna uh, zoom in a little bit here and then we're gonna take the first track point and put it on the corner of this eye and then we're gonna take the second track point and put it on the corner of this eye and we're putting it in the corners to create um, a area of contrast so when you look at it you can see blue is on one side and black is on the other so that creates a, a better way to track this footage position when we apply it to the null object so once we track I'm gonna let this track forward and then I'm gonna pause it so and so once it's done uh, you, all you have to do is click edit target and set it to your null object and I'm going to rename this to left eye hit enter and then um, what we're gonna do is you click apply and it'll apply all of these um, uh, little track points to your null object and so basically if you show this it'll show um, the null object following all the uh, keyframes that were set so scroll back to the beginning 
And so what you're what we're gonna do is to create the red eye effect. Um, is all we do is we take the the um, we take a new layer. We go to new solid, and then we can just make this red because that's the color I want his eyes to be. Is red. Um, make this a little brighter. Get um make it a perfect square so 1080 by 1080 we just do ok and then we double click the ellipse tool to make it a perfect circle and then we just scale it down 